Hello friends today we are going to perform the pulse amplitude modulation and demodulation experiment the aim of the experiment is to design build and test pulse amplitude modulation and demodulation the apparatus required are cathode ray oscilloscope a kit using ic 555 in this diagram you can see a circuit for a stable multivibrator using ic 555 the ic 555 generates a square wave which is used is here as a sampling signal this shows the circuit build on the kit which is a stable multivibrator when you connect the supply to the circuit it will generate a square wave we can measure the frequency on square wave of square wave using cr when you connect the circuit and switch on the power supply without giving modulating signal to the circuit we get the square wave output from a stable multi vibrator the frequency of this we can measure using the cr since we are using a storage oscilloscope which has a facility to measure the frequency directly instead of measuring the frequency uh conventionally as we do on your analog cr we can measure it by simply uh, pressing the measure button and you can see that the frequency here of the sampling signal is 1.408 kilohertz okay connect the modulating signal to the circuit with lower frequency than the square wave frequency here i am using 100 hertz as a modulating signal here sine wave signal we are using we can measure this frequency of the modulating signal here you can see the frequency of modulating signal is 101 hertz or nearly 100 hertz when you connect this modulating signal the output from the circuit you can see is pulse amplitude modulation means the amplitude of 
the square wave pulses is changing according to the amplitude of sine wave here you can see the amplitude of pulse is small and as amplitude of the modulating signal increases this uh, amplitude of these pulses is also in scale that is you can see clearly from this the waveform on a cr here uh, to demonstrate the pulse amplitude modulation i have superimposed the modulating signal and modulated signal the green waveform which is now i am moving up and down is a modulating signal and the yellow waveform which is i am moving up and down is modulated signal we can superimpose these two to see to behavior of this pulse amplitude modulation and here also you can clearly see that as the amplitude of this modulating signal increases the amplitude of the pulses is also increases or as it decreases the amplitude of the pulses also decreases which indicates the pulse amplitude modulation as you can see here the frequency of this modulating signal is lower than the frequency of modulated signal to see the demodulation uh, we can build a low pass filter which allows only only the low frequency at the output and this allows the higher frequency here we have in modulated signal we have two components that is the modulating signal and modulated signal since we know that we have used here the modulating signal of 100 hertz if we build a low pass filter having cut off frequency 100 hertz it allows the modulating signal of 100 hertz at the output and the part of the sampling signal that is in here in our case is 1.4 kilohertz is stopped by this low pass filter that we can see by designing the low pass filter having cut off frequency 100 hertz here i have constructed a low pass filter rc low pass filter using component r and c for 100 hertz i choose the capacitor of 1 microfarad and for cut off frequency 100 hertz the register value nearly 1.59 kilo ohm and when you connect this low pass filter at the output of this pulse amplitude modulation circuit after connecting the modulated signal to the low pass filter and taking output from the low pass filter we get the wave form which is sine wave which is somewhat similar to the 
modulating signal. you can see both the waveform that is the green one is the modulating signal directly from the function generator and the yellow one is the signal from low pass filter there is slight phase difference between the original one and signal reconstructed from the demodulator this phase shift is due to the phase shift of rc circuit hope you understand the pulse amplitude modulation means the amplitude of pulses changes according to the amplitude of modulating signal and secondly you can observe the behavior of demodulator that gives the original signal from the modulated signal thank you thank you very much